Hi, I'm Walk. These are my Wednesday words. Uh, devotion for First Presbyterian Church here in Ocala, Florida. I had planned to record these words for sharing on December 16th, and here it is the 27th, and just getting it done. On December 10th, I caught COVID-19. I was so surprised. I, I had been so careful. I always had a mask and wore my mask, but for 30 seconds, 30 minutes, took my mask off to enjoy a meal and fellowship with church members. Two of us sitting at the table four feet from someone with COVID got the illness. It was a strange two weeks following that dinner. I slept in a queen-size bed next to my wife, but didn't give her the COVID. After a positive test, I went into isolation in the guest bedroom, stayed there almost two weeks. Somehow, we didn't have a thermometer at home when the COVID crisis began in March, so I ordered the only thing I could find on Amazon, a thermometer for um, one that one that shows Celsius. So I would take my temperature and it would say 36 degrees and I'd ask Siri what that was in Fahrenheit. Eventually I got a chart and watched my temperature go to 37 and 38. That's over 101 to, to us Americans. Then it went down. A few days later it was 40 and I didn't feel sick. I, I realized maybe I needed a different thermometer and a new one with a fresh battery registered 98.2. Nancy took good care of me. She would put a plate of food and occasionally a ginger ale on the table in the hallway. I slept most of the time or listened to podcasts or books. I didn't even have a TV in the guest room and I didn't miss it. Till about December 22nd, when I felt good enough to do the online Zoom Advent Bible study, and then on the 24th, it had been 10 days since my positive test and three days since I had any fever with the new thermometer. It was Christmas Eve, but I didn't yet feel strong enough or confident enough to be with all of you. I didn't want to get you sick. Looking back on it, being ill taught me again of my dependence on other people. Nancy brought hot soup and ice drinks on a regular basis. Ron and many of you in the church stepped up to lead services and to take my part. I'm grateful to all the volunteers who led worship in my absence. And I realize how much I missed being with others and worshiping on Christmas Eve, even in a tent. I appreciated the ability to watch our services on YouTube and to see other congregations around the country to hear friends preach. This is not much of a devotional, just sharing my experience, how easy it is to get this new virus and pass it on and how people stepped up to take care of me and the congregation. In the Advent study in early December, we looked at two beloved carols of the church and Bible verses that they're based on. We looked at O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and Joy to the World. Let me share a little bit about that first, Beloved Him. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel is an ancient hymn of the church. It's found in a French manuscript from the 15th century, but is probably as old as the 9th and maybe even the 5th century in Europe. It's a Gregorian chant. If you look at the music, it's very steady without much movement. I'm not a musician and don't know the correct musical terms for this song meant to be chanted or sung by monks and nuns in the weeks before Christmas, celebrating Jesus' advent, his coming. 
In the 1800s, there was a movement in Victorian English Protestant churches to find ancient songs and other art from the church that we Protestants had pushed away as being too Roman or something like that, to bring ancient practices into the Victorian church. Thomas Alexander Lacey was the translator who gave us this ancient Latin chant in English. The monks chanted, O come, O come, during Advent in the evening service as an antiphon to the Magnificat, uh, Mary's song in Luke 1. They chanted it every evening. I think there are at least nine antiphons or verses that are known. There may have been more back in the day. Some of the verses are based on Isaiah 9, especially the second verse, and Isaiah 11, 1 and 2. Let's, let's look at that. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. And then from Isaiah 9, A shoot shall come from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The second verse of O Come, O Come oh, it says, O come thou wisdom from on high, who ordered all things mightily. To us the path of knowledge show and teach in her ways how to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to thee, O Israel. Another verse says, O come thou root of Jesse, free thine own from Satan's tyranny. From depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Or, O come thou dayspring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. I could read all nine known verses, but I think you get the point. We hear echoes from Isaiah about the light of nations, the dayspring. We hear about Jesse and his family tree. Wisdom is praised. All those things are in Isaiah. Let's, let's un unpack a little bit. Someone in the Advent uh, study on Zoom asked, if wisdom is a woman, it's referred to as her. The short answer is that in Greek, Sophia is the word for wisdom, a woman's name. It's a feminine noun in that language that attributes gender to nouns, ditto for Latin. We also talked about King David's father, Jesse, and how he's seen as the beginning of the, the root that became the tree, that became the monarchy of Israel. David, Solomon, many more kings, and Jesus. The second carol we looked at was Joy to the World, and I think I'll share that next Wednesday. We'll be back in worship at First Presbyterian in Ocala on Sunday, January 3rd at 9 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Please make a reservation and come join us or watch the video on YouTube or the church webpage. I'll be preaching about the Magi who came from the East looking for the King of the Jews. We'll have communion together. It's the first of the month. So prepare your heart and your mind and prepare bread and juice for all those things. Whether I see you in person or online, God bless.